here for smiles and superstitious signals, but a year when spontaneous and strange things happened out on the ice. At the Spectrum, goalie Ron Hextall has the puck swiped by a shark, David Bruce. Hextall makes a great recovery, but the rebound is off Terry Kartner's skate, and it's in. Peter Stastny with a stick is deadly, even from center ice. The best goalie in the league, Patrick Waugh, wasn't the best on this bad hop. Patrick agrees. Peter Stastny with a stick is deadly. But without one, he's pretty ordinary. Brian Benning of the Kings doesn't have a stick, so he steals Stastny's. Stripped of his shillelagh, Stastny can only skate and protest. And when his protest goes unheeded, it's time to take the law into his own hands. When Benning goes to the bench, so does Stastny. In Hartford, one scuffle produces a scuffle of a verbal kind. Linesman Dan Shakti notices something he wants referee Dennis Morell to call. Morell isn't interested, but Shakti is emphatic. Speaking of persistence, late in the tie game with Edmonton, Kevin Stevens of the Penguins scores, but the goal is disallowed. The tie game goes into overtime. Stevens is taken down and winds up underneath an oiler, but this time from flat on the ice, his stick catches a Paul Coffey shot, it's in, and the game is over. Fans have carried TVs for years, but this year, other TVs were waiting to make calls. Joe Koser of the Rangers rips one, and there's a question about it. While everyone waits, the tape is reviewed. Watch this one. The puck appears to go through the net. This was ruled a goal. The Penguins still didn't buy it and couldn't find any evidence. Meanwhile, back at the ranch... At Joe Lewis Arena, an angry Ed Belfour pulled from the game, goes on a field goal rampage with some hockey sticks and anything else he can find. Biggest night deposit, Buffalo's Mike Ramsey on 210-pound Vladimir Ruzichka. Biggest night out, hockey in the open air at Caesars Palace and a helmet cam worn by Kelly Rudy. Interesting pictures. And the Kings' Tony Granato got the first NHL goal in a parking lot. The closing arguments are made and Judge Wapner sides with Shakti. He wins. It was a year for dressing old and dressing weird. A year for rock and roll. A year for wah and rolly. A Trojan ice scaler and an ecstatic ice whaler that wind up to a great 91. Next week on Hockey Magazine.